a new public database that helps people track down missing family members. 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty is here again to explain how it works. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. What's so special about this database is that it can be used by anyone with a computer, police, prosecutors, or parents trying to track down a missing child, like 22-year-old Carrie Culberson. It breaks my heart just to know what I've lost, what we have lost. It breaks my heart. 13 years after Deborah Culberson's 22-year-old daughter, Carrie, was murdered by an ex-boyfriend, she still doesn't know where Carrie is or what happened to her. If I only knew the truth, I wouldn't be imagining all this stuff because I would hope that how she died isn't nearly as bad as all, as all these rumors that we've had to hear over the years. In 1997, Vincent Doan was convicted of Carrie's murder. He has refused to tell investigators where he left her body. I have gotten justice, we have gotten justice, but it's still kind of a hollow justice because what I want the most is Carrie. Deborah may get her wish. What you see here is a new national database that just went online this month. Called Name Us, the hope is that it will someday list all the unidentified remains found in this country, an estimated 40,000 Jane and John Does. Deborah believes her daughter Carrie is among them. She wants to find her and bury her. We are going through this constant grieving because we haven't been, a, been allowed to go through the natural process. So once I find Carrie's remains, that grieving process, I hope, will begin, and then the healing will start. Dr. Emily Craig, the Kentucky State Forensic Anthropologist, helped create NamUs. For the website to work, medical examiners and law enforcement who find bodies need to compare the details to the list of missing people. It is really going to revolutionize uh, our ability to identify victims and find missing persons. It may be the best hope to find Carrie Culberson and the thousands of other Americans who have been reported missing. Deborah Culberson goes in search of her daughter. But even as you're turning this on right now, are you a little nervous? Maybe this is the day. I pray that this would be the day because, as I said, this is my only hope. She only needs one match, and just days earlier, she thought she had it. I did find one that was so similar. She was found, um, let's see, she was found in Indiana. That had to give you hope. You it, it did. It, it, it got me so excited. And then disappointment. The physical descriptors and everything matched. It just the dental did not. Is that the closest you've come? Yes, yes, and, and the excitement. And, and of course, there's let down. Let down, maybe, but Deborah Culberson is not giving up until she brings her daughter Carrie back home. You have been looking on your own for almost 13 years, 12 and a half years. How important is this database? What does this mean for you? When we have someone missing, we feel hopeless and helpless. And this gives us the, the chance to help. There's still hope for Deborah. The database is very new, and so far only a very small percentage of the unidentified Jane and John Doe's have actually been entered into it. Still, and here's the best part, already five missing person cases have been solved, and here's what will surprise you. One of the missing women turned out to be alive. When her mom listed her on the website, the young woman found out about it. She was in Vegas, and she's gone home to Indiana. That surprised me, because I thought wow. most of the time what you're doing is you're just... You're looking for a body. Yes, you know, to be able to bury. And here, this 17-year-old girl was in Vegas. Amazing. She found out. I'm not quite sure how she found out, but she went home. Right. Well, there's all this cross-connections on the Internet and everything else. Now, beyond families, could this also be really helpful to law enforcement agencies? On 48 Hours All the Time, we have cases where they don't want to bring a trial because they don't have a body. Mm -hmm. This, I think, will at least help prosecutors find a body. Wow, such interesting stuff. Aaron, thank you so much. Great to see you.